Hey, what's up y'all? Good morning. Hope everyone's having a good day. Welcome to Heavy Cardboard. Today we're busting out Darwin's Journey uh, with Fireland Expansion solo. So it's me and y'all together. And that's it today. So uh, Darwin's Journey is designed by, or was designed by, Simone Luciani and Nestor Mangone and published by Thundergriff Games. Uh, this is Alyssa's copy, so big thanks to Alyssa for copy of the game. And yeah, so we streamed this now twice. We streamed the base game. We streamed the uh, Fireland expansion, both of those three players. And then I was like, hey, why don't we go ahead and bust out the solo? I was gonna do this last week. There, there's a bit to this, to running, the, uh, to running Alfred, if you will, uh, which is the AI that we're gonna be competing against today. And so I'm gonna run through the setup for the solo, I'm going to run through an uh, overview of how it works, and then as we go through the actions uh, throughout the game, I'll actually teach how Alfred works. Uh, big, big shout out to Spin over on BGG, has this amazing solo. Uh, it's three sheets, and it's really good. Um, I have yet to play the solo. However, this makes it way easier. I was going to have a bunch of notes for myself and hope, nah, this. Go, go print this off. If you're going to play it solo, uh, spins um, solo multi-format, I think is what it is over on BGG. And it's really, really good. So, yeah, well done, you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Hey, good news, Alyssa. Um, this will come with your copy because I already printed it for today's stream. All right, y'all ready? Let's go ahead and do this. I'm not going to bother taking down the... Uh, the camera, cause it's just, it's just y'all and me. All right, so first things first, let's talk about difficulty. So there are four different difficulties. There's beginner, there's medium, there's advanced, and there's expert. I chose the second one, which is medium. I was going to choose the advanced, but you'll notice that Alfred's board is the back of the players. So green and white, where the other ones, and I wanted to be yellow, which is advanced. So these are all asymmetric on the back of these. Uh, so you'll see that both the seals for Alfred, as well as some of the bonuses that they're gonna get, as well as um, uh, campsite stuff, as well as correspondence things, all those are asymmetric, as well as they have not a deck, well, they do have a deck, which is up there, but they also have depending on which difficulty you're playing, um, the two bonus cards, which are those. So obviously, uh, I, I chose blue because I thought blue would be a good contrast to yellow, and it just so happened that that was the medium one. one and I didn't realize that the board itself dictates Alfred's color, right? Or Alfred's difficulty. So anyway, those are how that works. Okay, so hopefully um, that solves a little bit of a mystery for any of y'all that uh, may struggle with trying to understand that like I did. All right, so cool. All right, um, so let's go ahead and talk about setup. So obviously we're playing on the Fireland side. Uh, it's set up for a two player game. All right, so the time um, uh, seals are mixed in. Obviously we have all of this set up. Uh, a couple of things for the two player. Now, again, I hadn't experienced this at anything other than three player. The bottom ones are flipped face down. Those are unavailable. Also, the little time marker or the, the turn order, uh, this little one and two player hoo -yah, uh, lens goes there. However, in the solo game, Alfred's always first. So if I go here, it's just straight up three bucks. That's it. Okay? So keep that in mind. Okay. Also, we are playing uh, the F1 scenario. Uh, I thought since we showed the F2 one on the Fireland stream, 
the multiplayer, I would do a different one. So this is basically just an opportunity to use some of the time track stuff is how it's explained. So just FYI, these, and I'll go ahead and show these in detail real quick. Um, so these are set up for uh, that scenario for the F1, but being two player, those are unavailable, okay? So that's how that works. The museum uh, was randomly set up, everything else uh, set up for two and three players there. Now, some differences. Uh, we chose the difficulty, like I said already. Um, their bonus track, Alfred's bonus track, and let me show you all this here. Uh, is their fifth worker, so they don't they won't get a fifth worker uh, that will just be moving along there. Also, you'll notice that the coin starts on the coin spot right there. That tracks how many coins Alfred has. Uh, as I mentioned, Alfred is always the first player, and then they have a deck of cards as well. It is eight cards, regardless of the difficulty here, and I will cover all of these as we get to them. So we'll shuffle these up. All right, and I'll cover their board and stuff, or his board there. Uh, let's see. So, other setup for two player and for this. Those are flipped down, that is up. There's only one milestone of each available. And technically there's only supposed to be two pairs of these and the others are out and I take one and the others are out. So I was just like, eh, I'll go ahead and do it myself. That's fine. So scenario card, we've covered that. Let's get rid of that bad boy. And for uh, objective, oh, a couple of things also, one or one other thing I should say. I deal five of these to myself, and then I choose three to keep. So one, two, three, four, five, the rest are out of the game. And we're gonna keep three of these and these will dictate our starting seals and also uh, how we're going to choose on our starting objectives there. Um, all right, so here are what we were dealt. Well, okay. Um, I like the extra adventuring. I also like that one. Uh, the only problem is we're going heavy on the adventuring and I don't think that's a great idea. So I think we only choose one of those. And it looks like, honestly, that I choose one of those one of those, given that they're predominantly blue, and that one. So, you know what? I think we go these three on the left and get rid of those. There we go. So those will be our three. Uh, I didn't think about where to stash these. Hmm. You know what? We have some room. It'll require me to look a little bit left, but that's fine. It's not like the AI is going to be being distracted, so I'm just gonna put them over here and I'll try and remember them. As far as objectives go, so let's see, looking at this. Uh, I'm gonna go heavy museum. So we're definitely gonna go specimens. Looking at this, there's a flower easily accessible there, uh, as well as a yellow bird. There's a blue bird down here. Man, do we go the bird one? And that means we go yellow. Yellow is putting out a lens. Yeah. There's overlap on the red on all three of them. Okay, so if that's the case, I think we go here. Uh, just because of the red and keep up with the beagle, hopefully soon. Okay, we'll do that. So we'll choose those. 
Those will go there. These are out of the game. Stash those away. All right, and we're starting with a red, a blue, and a green seal. Yes, F1 scenario. So red, blue. Uh, you know what? Let's go left to right up there. So less on the correspondence, apparently. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, I think that's, that's pretty much it for setup. So now, a couple of changes. The reward phase, Alfred scores correspondence, just like we would as far as their stuff. Um, and the cleanup phase is normal, except we would, uh, we reveal two new objectives out there, uh, as opposed to four. So, oh, sorry, so just, we keep, the bottom row doesn't exist, is what I'm trying to say. And the lowest available for the bonuses for him will physically slide the cards underneath the board. And that's it. And Alfred uh, will score normally. So that's set up, all right? All right, so. Let's do this, shall we? Place your bets. Me, us, us. Cause y'all are gonna be, are gonna be, you know, an active participant here today. So is it us or Alfred? Place your bets on that. And over under glory to Rome's. I tend to not do a lot, uh, but I have a feeling Alfred's gonna be difficult. So we're gonna go three and a half today. Oh, I forgot to put coins up here as well in the museum. All right, so, y'all ready for this? Uh, it'll be, we're gonna go slow each time Alfred does actions uh, early on, and, uh, and, and we'll go from there, all right? Uh, and forgive me, because the reach is going to be stretched uh, pretty thin today, because that's, it's a big board, okay? All right, okay. Let's do this. So we start off with Alfred. So his deck of cards, I will actually put his deck there, but we're gonna draw one card and it'll have two or three options on it. Okay, this one has, yep, okay. You know what? Let's fix that. There we go, that'll work. There, all right, so. Alfred has two options. He has workers in that order uh, as option one, and if not that, then he will rest. Rest is this up here. We take the bottom most worker, we place it up here. He gets seven coins or to a maximum of 12. So if he ever goes higher than 12, then if he goes higher, ping, his bonus track advances one. When his bonus track hits the end, he scores six points every time he hits or passes this spot. And the end spot, he does whatever the round shows. So add a correspondence, add one uh, letter for correspondence and two shipping, okay? Every time that will go. So that's rest, that's pretty straightforward. However, the letters, the letters correspond to those. And the icons are simply just to be able to, I guess, to make it language independent, sort of, if you can't read A, B, C, and D. So, but there we go, okay? So it'll always be in that order for the letters, at least. So we're starting off here with B, okay? So we look at the B one, and he has two yellow seals, okay? So the main diary action, which is what this is showing here, is the worker priority goes to this one, and if we can't do that one, then that. If we can't do that, then that. If we can't do that, then we do the rest action, okay? So it is the leftmost lettered worker with the strongest worker placement location. The strongest worker placement location has a hierarchy. So there are the four main diary actions. The four main diary actions are going to be the actions that he's going to be attempting to do with 
the main stuff here, okay? So it's going to be the bottom most unlocked and empty with at least one matching wax seal. Okay, so if we take a look at the main diary actions, main diary, the only ones unlocked are the main actions. These are not unlocked yet, but as they get unlocked, he will look to the most bottom that is empty, meaning doesn't have one of our workers or one of his workers. But currently that's moot, but he will look at that. And if he has one matching seal of it, and he either has enough seals to be able to take it, which in this case would be two, that one will be three, or he can spend three coins to get a temporary uh, seal, you know, one of those, and then he will carry out the action. Hopefully that made sense. But as it is, the bottom most unlocked and empty with at least one matching wax seal. Well, that is the yellow worker. Yellow worker is going to be up there. So that's it. That's where he's going to go for this action. So it's going to be the B worker. He's going to go up there. Okay, so now this is the correspondence action, right? The correspondence action says uh, he does just like what we would do, except he will never have distinctions, so he will never do any of the ones up here. So instead, he's just going to straight up do two correspondence. Now, the hierarchy for the correspondence for both his board, and we'll go ahead and cover that real quick. Actually, we'll do there. All right, so you'll notice that he has three stacks just like we do. For him, it is the top most available. So pretty straightforward. So he's going to take two from the top of that. And then for the correspondence, he will come over and which does he choose? The priority here is take majority from us. Well, we don't have any out there, so okay, but, you know, he will be a bit of a, uh, a glory to Rome hound in that regard. And if that's not th a thing, then the topmost with the fewest of his stamps. Well, the topmost, they all have no stamps, so pretty clearly he's going to place them right there. Easy enough. And if he were to reveal any of these, which in on this board is advance one bonus marker, get four coins, advance three on the bonus track. Pretty straightforward, okay? So that is his turn. Easy enough, done. Now it's our turn, okay? Again, every time the first time we go through these, uh, it's gonna be a little slow going uh, because I wanna walk through because there is a, just trying to figure out the priority for them is, non-trivial. It is a little bit more involved than some of the other bots that I've been running recently. Okay. All right. So for us, uh, I told you, I definitely want to focus here, I think, on this, um, on this playthrough. So we have the uh, predator one, I think is like the hand symbol, right? The animal one, the closest animal one is going to be there, 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 and there. So they're, they're a bit out there for that one. That one's going to be pretty tough to do, but this is two red seals and catching up to the beagle. So I could... We could go ahead and do the explore action. Oh, by the way, it also costs, in a two-player game, it costs three coins, three coins, to be able to uh, go where uh, another worker is. So exploration would get us the blue flower, which I think is not terrible, doing that and stopping there. Eh. But we don't get the adventure. Ah, that doesn't feel great. However, we could pass the beagle, go up here, get the three coins. We forego the adventure token. But I think we would get an adventure token coming down to get the, the penguin down there. So that's an option. 
going up and getting the extra three bucks. That seems pretty good. The other option is getting a seal so that when we do that, we, I guess, either order works. And the fact that there's a purple here and a red there for that one, that feels all right. So I think we'll go ahead and move our ship. Yeah. So we will go ahead and take the blue one. We'll go up there. We're going to move two on the uh, ship track. So that's pretty straightforward. One, two, where we stop. We get to take the action if we wish. We do, it's free. We take the topmost tent, we put it out there, and we get three quid. There we go. For a total of seven, that's our turn, done. All right, Alfred's up. Now, the, uh, the rules say that these should always be visible, but here's the thing. The reason is because you need to see if two of the, um, uh, shoot, what is it? Uh, two of the deliver. If both the deliver action cards come out, whenever the second one is, um, shuffle all the cards. Okay? So, uh, the one question I have, though, on that note is, do you carry out that action and then shuffle afterwards? Step one, before drawing a card, if both of them are there. Okay. At the end of the turn, basically, you do it. All right, so the first thing is, it's going to be, the, this one has three options, which is the lens, then, uh, so placing a lens, if possible, then uh, placing a worker, and then rest. So placing a lens says, um, in the small, going to the small diary, if, only if no other workers are present, place the bottom most available worker. Nobody is here. So we will take the bottom most available worker. Doesn't matter left or right on, in that case. So then what do we do? The lens placement is as follows. The top most lo uh, locked location. Okay. And uh, the, then the top most worker can satisfy with seals and coins. That the top most worker can satisfy with seals and coins. So that would be theoretically the green and yellow one because he can do so with coins between the green and yellow, whereas he could not on that one. But if there are multiple, multiple options, the worker's leftmost color wax seal will dictate. So the leftmost is green. It's the top. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, top available, so it's going to be one of those, I apologize. So le uh, green, there are no green there, so he's going to uh, choose that one. Uh, Alfred performs all actions if able, and he'll never unlock a special action location. Oh, wait, my bad. I'm looking at the wrong spot. I'm thinking special. It's up top. I apologize. Let's try that again. The top most locked location. If multiple options, the worker's leftmost color. So it's going to be green, which means it'll be that one. Apologies. My bad. My bad. All right. So there. Okay. And then he will carry out that action as best as possible. So this is uh, exploration. So exploration brings us down here. So exploration says, first off, the priority is if the green track is not all the way at the end, he would do this if it's unlocked. It's not. So then it is the most recently unlocked of the workers. So obviously he only has that one. So it's going to be that one. His, he takes the longest route possible for ones that branch off. Okay. And then he researches all specimens that are passed and perform the last two actions reached. Well, that sucks. Okay. However, there is a caveat when he crosses a, uh, an adventure token because we are playing the expansion. So let me go through that real quick. 
So whenever he reaches or passes an adventure token, he takes it from the board. He doesn't draw a card. Instead, he advances to time and advances two spots on the bonus track. But there's a little bit more than that. So he's going to go two. So it's going to go one, two. Okay. So he's going to take the token. He's going to score for that just like we do uh, based on that card at the end. He advances two time on the time track there. And he goes two on the bonus track. Okay. Good. Easy enough. Pretty straightforward there. An important note, though. If Alfred co collected an adventure token while exploring, which he just did, they will only perform the action where their explorer ended its movement instead of performing two actions. He will still research all Fireland specimens that they reach or pass on the track, though. Boo. So... Even though he's only going to do the one action, which is the four coins, he still does that. Boo, I say. Boo. So he gets four coins. His four coins are right here. So from 7 to 11. And he is going to research the... That one right there. Okay, done. Oh, fair point. Good call, Spangle. I had him go in the wrong direction. You are correct. Okay, let's back this up a little. I just realized that is a longer path because that is here and then it branches one, two to get up there, whereas one, two, three. So he will actually go there. There is no token. Good call, good call there that he passes because that's only in the three player so let's back up the bonus let's back up the coins and uh back up the time okay all that's undone so instead he will gain a time which he has no time to gain so there's that but he still gets the specimen and he does not get an adventure token good call good call adam and doctor yep oh yes and thank you alfred should have paid for this so, so that'll be four coins back, actually, for having paid for that, and he doesn't gain the four for that. Good call. Good job, y'all. Appreciate the assistance, making sure I don't mess up running Alfred. Okay, so just to be clear, he unlocked the lens, and then he did his two movement. He got that. He would have gotten the time, but he doesn't get anything because he's already at the beginning, and he paid for the lenses. Good call. All right, well done. Y'all. All right, so now I think we go ahead and I, like I said, I do want to research. But now I'm behind him on that. That's the only problem. We do have seven coins. No, I don't think. There's no way, even if we were to research there, well, we can't. That would cost us eight. Never mind, because it would be three to go there. And then five to do that. So, bad idea there. The other idea is if we stay on target and go get a seal, we complete that, which now only makes it $2 to go as opposed to $3. That feels like a smart thing to do. Let's do it. We'll use the red worker. We'll stay on target. We'll go there. It's going to cost us 3 bucks because there's already one there. God, that's expensive. Um... Now the question is, do we get the purple or do we get the red? Looking at these, we need two red and three red. So we're going to need a bunch of red. But I think the purple gives us a little bit of flexibility and the extra time. I think it's worth it. We'll spend the extra buck. We'll get that seal. So to be clear, the purple time seals. 
they cost money, but they also cost a time. So there, just, and then placing it, do we put it on the green one? Also needs a red. And it, we do have the two green open to it. Yeah, I think we do put it up there. I think that may, ah. Uh, oh, but purple doesn't count for these, does it? Damn it. Oh, that's dumb. Well, either way, we're not going to get the second green. So you know what? Never mind. Never mind. We'll take the red. Stay on target. Fine. God. We will put that there. We now complete this. So completing that. There. Now it's only going to cost us two bucks to do it. Yeah, that feels, that feels like the right thing to do. It's not great, but done, fine, so be it. All right, Alfred's turn. Okay, so it would be a lens, but you all remember what the very first thing said? If no other workers are present, but there is a worker present because he just did that, so instead he will do these. These say he's going to try and do A first, okay? So the, or the A worker, it is the bottom most unlocked and empty with at least one matching seal. Well, clearly he's going to try and do this one because it's the bottom most. It happens to match up with that so it doesn't even cost him any damn money. Well, that's not going great, just saying, fine. And the exploration, again, would be the green. It's not. It's got to be that one. Okay. Longest route possible. Let's make sure we don't screw this up. So he has the two seals. So he's going to just move two. He does one, two. Okay. So now, uh, a moment. Need to look up one quick thing. So for the objective, okay, so he is going to get an objective, two coins, and place a tent, and all of those things. When he would gain an objective, he discards one objective from the board and the gold one if possible, because that's the type of guy he is. So he's going to get rid of that one that just gets discarded out of the game, okay, done. And then he is going to gain three on the bonus track. And the reason he's going to gain three on the bonus track is because whenever he gains an objective, so to speak, instead, he moves three on the bonus track. Done. There. He's also gaining the two coins. There. Okay. Oh, good call. He would have to pay three to go there. You are correct. So back three. I'm going to have to remember to spend his coins every time. Help me remember. Good call, Alyssa. Thanks. And then he's going to place a tent. Whenever he places a uh, campsite, it is the cheapest available. So his campsite, obviously, it goes top to bottom just like normal. So he will place it there, and performs the action. Okay, so he gets a seal. So the seal, now, there is a uh, priority to these seals, and I'll show you all the priority order, is um, basically that numbered, and the reason this happens is there are little uh, barriers in between two and five, three and seven, four and 10, and I don't think there is one. Oh, and there's one all the way on the far left there. And the reason for this is, I will go ahead and bring you all back over here and show you them. So you'll see that there's a little barrier right there, there and there on this board. 
uh, the priority is the cheapest, uh, I'm sorry, the topmost left of the bracket. If those are filled, then he goes topmost empty of the right bracket and then work your way down. So here it is topmost left of the empty bracket. So topmost left of the bracket. So, okay, so we're gonna fill the top two first, hence why those are numbered one and two on there. Okay, cool, all right. So uh, what one does he take? So we go take a look at the seals now up here. He will take the cheapest and if then the worker's leftmost color and then the leftmost available in that order, but they will only take to a maximum of three of a color. Okay, so the cheapest, okay, so the top row. Then the worker's leftmost color. Worker's leftmost color is going to be green for him, so he's going to take that one, and he brings it over, over here, places it there, and that's him. And obviously, if he covers the bonus, then he gets the bonus. Okay? That's his, that's his A action done. Because he did the money, he got the objective, he placed the tent, and he got a seal. I feel like his turns are so much better than ours. Just, just saying. Okay? So, now we have green, which... Is there any chance that we're going to be able to deliver that before him? Get it and deliver it. The other option, the other option that I'm seeing is instead of Mm. No, it doesn't work. I guess actually it is. Hear me out. This might be dumb. I'll be the first to admit this. But do we, instead of taking an explore action and moving there, do we do correspondence? and tie him there. We'll get the one explore and a ship movement out of it. Or, well, I guess instead of the temp, I guess we'd use the purple for that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Because I want both that and the four bucks and the adventure token. <sighs> Chasing him feels so dumb, but we're going to do it. All right, so we're going to go there. It's going to cost us... Two bucks because the discount. So there's that. Now, here you go, peanut gallery. Do we go the two, get the four bucks, and get the adventure token and have an event, a land adventure, or do we just stop there? I say to hell with this. I say we go there. I think we go for the four bucks and have the adventure. So we'll get the four bucks, so it brings us up to six. Let's do an adventure. Shuffle these up. Okay, here we go. So that is three time and get three on the book track and take the token, or one time get an objective and two points. The objective is a silver one, not terrible. Uh, it is a blue, a yellow seal, and two uh, land adventures. Well, the objective 
it's going to be kind of tough to do if we don't get land adventure tokens. So I think we do the top one. So we take the token, get three on the book track. So the token, uh, yeah, y'all can see that. Put that there. And we pay three time for the privilege. Now, when we did that, seals, we, uh, we get, it costs one extra coin for a seal now. It's all right. I think we can go back. Yeah, so that's what that one is. This is uh, delivery, you go back a book? Is that what that is? Yeah, go back on the book track. Oy vey. Okay, and placing is two extra coins. And uh, Alfred also has to mess with that. So there's that. All right, so that one is done. We'll put that over there. We had our, our adventure, we got the money, we'll call it good, we're done. All right, Alfred's up. His last action will be. All right, Lens, can't do that, can't do B. Um, so this will clearly be C. And the bottom most unlocked and empty with a lens with at least one matching wax seal. So he's going to go to blue because that's the only option he has. It will cost him three. Oh, he cannot. He does not have the money to do so. Let me uh, double check one thing. Just looking. Give me a second here. Uh, yeah, Alfred must pay three coins to place a worker into an occupied diary section. If he can't afford it, the worker cannot be placed in a diary section. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, forcing him to spend too much money. So, he has two coins. It will cost him three to be able to go do that action. He cannot. So, because he cannot, instead, he will do a rest action. Because he only has one worker available, so he can't do any of those. And it must match a blue, and he can't buy anything. So, yeah, he can't do it. So, he's going to do a rest action. Rest action says he's going to gain seven coins, up to nine, and plus two on the bonus track. That'll go one, two... And when he did that, he is going to uh, do a correspondence. Correspondence is going to be the top most available. So that is going to be that one. And where he places it uh, takes majority from the player. Nope, can't do that. Top most with the fewest of his stamps, he will place it there. Here we go. That's his turn. We're up. What do we want? Uh, I do like the idea of going to sh uh, exploration again with the purple because that would give us the yellow bird. The other, ah, ah. The other idea is we could go to correspondence one would tie us where he is there, and the shipping doesn't help. Yeah, that doesn't feel great. I'm not too terribly worried right now about backing up our time. The two ship doesn't, isn't important. The seal, it would cost us extra, no. We do have, no, the, no. Yeah, 
I think we do the two exploration again. So we'll spend two bucks. And that will go up there. So two bucks because of that. So the exploration, again, that'll be two, one, two. And we will just go ahead and get, uh, oh, you know what? No, never mind. All right. So we will uh, get the yellow bird. The yellow bird. Right there. Done. Cool. All right. So that is the end of the round. So turn order will never change. We will go ahead and score these. Normal rules apply for him. So he's going to lose half of those. He's going to advance one on the exploration, which, oh, hey, look, he gets that. So he gets the yellow bird as well. And then the one on the ship, he will move uh, along the beagle, but nothing else happens with that. So he's done with that. Then he gains two bucks for the correspondence here. And every other player loses one time. Yay, thanks, dude. There, and he gains two bucks. There, and nobody has that one, which you lose time, so that would be great. And then we do end of round scoring. Uh, a moment, hold on one second. So end of round scoring, he has one blue, and I have one blue. So four points each. Boom, boom. And while I'm up, we'll grab these. Uh, all right, so this wipes, get one of each. And those are two red seals and a yellow. So hey, I already qualify for this one, so that's great. Have one of your um, crew cards completed and be on the five spot on the book track or higher, which we're not really near right now, but okay, that's an option. Um, for the seals, the top row goes away, and then everything slides up. And the third one is green. Okay, um, one thing, oh, good call. You are correct, Bart. Aye, they, I am, I am rusty, apparently, or something. He will gain that either way. They can't be on the same spot. He would gain a time, but he can't, so instead he gains a buck. And he gets the, uh, the specimen. Thank you. Golly. It's a lot to manage. Thanks for the help, y'all. Certainly appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting for end of round stuff? Got the reward phase, cleanup phase. Uh, the beagle moves there. Workers back. The wax seals and the objectives. All right, cool. We're good. That's it. All right. Sheesh. Okay. So, round two, he begins. We do not shuffle because we haven't seen any of the delivery actions yet, which, uh, well, two of these are going to be delivery actions, which of his remaining four cards, and there's one of them. 
That sucks. So he's going to do the delivery action. <sighs> if Alfred has at least one available delivery, he has two. Uh, place the bottom most available worker. Okay. So this one comes out. We go to the museum. That was really unfortunate. There. The priority for deliveries is player researched. Okay, so that'll be the yellow bird. Thanks. So that one. The next priority is most coins gained, then top left, then player choice. Place the specimen. Alfred gains coins and evolution advancements as normal. So placing this, he's going to gain that coin, but he loses all the coins because he's maxed at 12. So this coin just goes away. That's gross. And then he would gain uh, one, two, three coins, but he doesn't. And and, well, because he's full, and he gets one, two, three on the book track. And Alfred will pay three coins to deliver a second specimen using the above priorities. Okay, so he's paying the three bucks. And it will be, well, obviously the only one that can be, which is the blue flower. There. Takes the coin, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six bucks. Well, obviously he caps it. Twelve. And he only gets one on the book track for that. So, four. Hmm. Hmm. Glory to Rome to you, dude. I mean, I had a feeling that was coming. The only way we could have prevented it is to have gotten it for just a single delivery with the blue flower. Eh. It just sucks that we stopped. No, we did the full movement, so I guess we didn't hamper ourselves too bad, but still didn't feel great. All right. Yeah, right? Just making sure. Delivery. Good, good. Done. Yep. Okay. I think that... Seven bumps on the track. How do you figure? Oh, wait. You put this, right? It's one, two, three, four. Place that. Then it's one, two, three, four bumps. And then placing that is five, six. You should be at six, not four. <sighs> okay. Oh. By the way, we are in round two, so that will shrink, and that will shrink. There we go. Should be six bumps, pretty sure, not seven. Placing this one, that's one, two, three, four. Placing this one, five, six. Yeah, that feels right. All right, so we're up. Oh. Um... One, two, three, no. Getting the second seal feels important. Trying to get ahead of him on the specimens feels important. If we, one, two, three on the ship would get us our next exploration out that feels right okay we have four bucks I think that's what we do I think so so let's go ahead and use Sh 
ship. I'm sorry. Special or a small ship explore deliver. I think so. I think that's what we're going to be doing this turn. Oh God, but we need seals out of all, like, am I worrying too much about this? I don't. No, we're going to, we're going to go and do that for sure. And we're going to spend the four bucks to go and put a lens out there. That's going to get us three ship movement. And we will go one, two, three. We get to place out our next explorer there. Yeah, I, I think that's the right thing to do. Because this way, then we can have the exploration up there. I think so. Um, yeah. Need to move his worker on the track right and gain. Oh, shoot. You are correct. You are totally correct. Okay. Whenever there, is it per dollar or is it per action? Because then it would be two to the right if it's per action. Y'all are totally right. I missed that. So gaining coins. Let me look that up. Good call. Coin track, there we go. Each excess coin gained. Oh my God. Okay, that's horrible. Okay. Yep. You're correct. Okay. Jeez. So let's look. Going there. He was maxed out when he did it. It was one two, three, four bumps. One, two, three, four. So that will get him two seals. The seals are the cheapest and the worker's leftmost color. So he will do cheapest, will do green. By the way, there's nothing that says they take the purple in the expansion. So he will take that one, which gives him two more bumps. One, two. He starts back over after that. Now I get what y'all were saying. He takes a second seal, which will be the cheapest. The cheapest is going to be arguably the blue. Done. So that was hitting that one. Then when he placed this, he had gotten one, two, three, four, five, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he will get two on the book track. And if he'd hit that, he would get that again. There we go. Okay. Gah, the icon's there. I just missed it. Good call, y'all. All right. So we each have taken one turn now. Now it's his second turn. Oh, and every time he hits this, he gets six points. Ay. We are going to get housed. Wow, this is hard. It's a lot to manage, y'all. Yep. So he took his action. 
I took my action, and now it's back to him. Oh, we too far? Was it three? Got the points. Ah, he had spent three on the specimen. You're right. One, two, three. So he'll be there, but he still would have gotten two on the book track. Now I think we are all fixed. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Y'all are invaluable today. Oh my God, this is killing me. I apologize. Ay they. All right. Hold on. Cheers to y'all. Let me, uh, who is that? Let me, um, get the name. Hold on. There you go. Chan Yo Kim, I think. I'm probably butchering that, but I appreciate it. All right, cheers. And to the rest of y'all, I appreciate the help today because this is killing me apparently. All right, it's act like the first turn and a half haven't happened. All right, here we go. Lens, he will not do it because I'm there. So instead we'll do this. Okay, so these are special action diary, and it shows him on the left side. So here we go. If no other workers are present, there aren't, place the bottom most available worker, and then move four spaces on the bonus track. That's it. So the bottom most worker here will then come over and go here. And it will be on the top left, so he will go to that spot there. It is free for him to do that, and he moves four spaces on the bonus track. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Okay? Good. And one of these next two cards will cause us to shuffle after his turn. So it's now us. I am all messed up. Do we, oh, we could move three on the ship, huh? One, no, we only want to move two because I want to get that damn penguin and we can get the adventure token. So I think we go ahead. Mm. We've already passed this one. One, two, three is the furthest he could go. So he can't take that one from us, whereas he can take that one from us. So I think maybe we actually go and have the land adventure. The question is, do we want to move three spots? We skip that. That's one. That's two. That's three. Heck yeah, we do. The problem, actually, it's not a problem because I don't need money to go there, do I? yet. But to be able to move the ship, I will, but it hopefully we'll be able to get some money from the land adventure. Let's try it. No, I didn't get a ocean adventure. So I think we do that. Let's go ahead and do the land adventure and we will move one, two, three. I like that. So we will go there. He does get a buck whenever we go on his lens. So he gets a buck, which is going to be a bonus. Golly, six more points. And he gets two, uh, two seals, so the cheapest. Now, the game doesn't say anything about taking the purple, but I would argue that for the priority that that is the cheapest, so he would take it. So he will put it there. He adds one time for that, done. And then he gets a second one. He will pay a buck and uh, they're all, let's see, the, it is the cheapest and the worker's leftmost color. So, oh, he will not take that one. So hold on. It should be like that, I think. 
There we go. Because he will never take a fourth of a color. That's right. Okay. So now, row placement is the topmost left of the bracket. All the brackets are full, so it's going to be topmost empty right of the bracket. And it's going to be the cheapest and their leftmost color, which he has three of the green, so it won't be that. Then it will be the leftmost available, which would be this one, and that will go there. So that was for him getting that, for getting the coin from me going there. Oy. All right. So we do have to spend that are temporary, but we get three walking. Skip one, or one, two, three. So we will get the sea serpent. That will go there at least. And we'll have the land adventure. Let's do it. None of that gives us cash. Okay. I mean, the one time getting the token and the ocean movement feels good. The three book and four, I mean, that's, but four is just too much. I think we go with the bottom one. So we'll do one water movement there, right in between those, and then we'll take the token. There we go. All right. Good. That's our turn. He's up. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way a little. There we go. And we will shuffle when this is done. Okay. So now he cannot do this because he doesn't have any specimens available. So we go down to the second one. The second one is the special uh, diary action. Special diary action says, if no other workers are present, there are. So we skip that. So then we go down to rest. So rest is we take the bottommost worker. He gets seven coins and two more on the bonus track. Wow. There. Seven coins. One and six plus the extra two. So he's going to move eight more. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We already gave him the six points for that, but he gets two on the book track. We are going to get eviscerated, just so y'all know. This is brutal. Okay. Look at the amount of seals he has. He's made deliveries. Look at where he is on points. Look at, all, oh my God, this is so bad. Okay, well we have one delivery we could theoretically make. We're broke, but we wanna do this. How do we get money? We can't afford any seals. Oh boy. So I, oh, you know what? You know what? Oh God, this is really good. Okay. I think we're gonna forego seals this round. We're gonna take these two we're going to put it here for the two bucks. So we get the two bucks, but we also get an objective. The objective, we can already complete this one because we have that. So let's do that. And then what one do we want? So also tempting because that gives us a specimen or the campsite. The campsite we could place for free. 
Oh no, it just gives us where we've already placed, which is a seal. Nope, I think we do the specimen. Yeah, level blue ain't easy. You ain't lying. I think we go with that. Not normally we do that, but I think we take the specimen. So now, uh, we have two options. We could do the lizard, or we could do the yellow flower. Now, if we get the lizard, that helps us with this. So I think we take the lizard. Yeah. And it is going to give us the most money. Book track is not trivial, but we need money. So I think we, we go ahead and take the lizard and we're halfway to completing that. All right, that at least felt like a better turn. So, yeah, the, uh, yeah, this is one game where the easy difficulty um, might have might been the right idea. Okay, so before he takes his turn, he shuffles. And that was the card that we did not see. That was the only one left. So what do y'all think so far? I definitely appreciate the help. The, the key is looking at everything you do, pausing for a second and making sure that uh, you got it all and didn't skip something. So which I have been guilty of so far. All right. So, cannot do a delivery because he doesn't have the specimens. So, it'll be A. So, it'll be the bottom most unlocked. Bottom most unlocked that's empty is going to be that one, which is the blue. Okay? And at least one matching wax seal. He has that, so he will do so. He has two blue seals, as it were. So, he doesn't even spend any money for that which is gross. Oh, I guess I could have taken the red pick too. No, I'm okay with that. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Oh, good call. Um, when the round ends, it's not four for the blue seal. It's four times the number of round. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. All right. So he is getting three ship movement. Pretty easy on this one. It takes the longest path, but if behind the beagle, going to move his main ship which that's right now the only one. But if he unlocks any others, if he's not behind the beagle, it'll be the most recently placed. The full distance taking the longest route. One, two, three. So he did hit the tent, perform every action that sailed through. Okay, so he will Go ahead and spend a coin to get three coins and place a tent. And now all of his seals are free. So he spends a coin and then gains three. One, ping, ping. And the double ping gets him there. Six points and two more seals to 22. We are going to get, oh boy. All right. So the two seals will be the, let's see, the cheapest and the where he can't take green. So it'll be the left most available. So he will take the red for that one. And all his seals are free. And when he does that, he's going to get four bonus movement. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then he takes another seal, the leftmost, so that'll go here, the leftmost, it's free again for him, so he's going to get that, and that'll be two more movement, one, two, which means he gets two book movement.
God. Ah, damn it. I forgot the three bucks for that. You're right. Thank you. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. He placed that. Then he went one, two, three. He paid another dollar. And then he would have gained three. One, two, three. So he wouldn't have gotten any movement. Okay, fair enough. So let's back that up. He doesn't get that, and he doesn't get that. So back there, and back him up to six points. Damn it. Oh my god. Pay the $3. There we go. We got it. We got it. Ah. Okay. Paid three, one, two, three, and then. Yeah, that's right. Okay, there we go. Ah, yeah. Okay. I need a sign just off camera back there that says "pay three dollars." Just always. Well, at least there's that. All right, our last action. I think we do the, uh, no, we can use the money from one delivery to get another delivery. So, yeah. Oh, and we get a buck. Because he placed on our lens. Good call. Oh, back two more, was it? There. Is that right? I thought you'd already gotten the same. Y'all can tell me that. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and do a delivery. That's free. I don't pay anything. The two deliveries are going to be those two, the two that he doesn't have. Uh, that way we get some cash out of it, I think. Huh. Hold on a second. Maybe we don't. Because maybe I'm not in a big rush, and we're going to get six points for the adventure. Huh. The only downside is we're only getting one movement as opposed to two. Okay. Thanks, Ray. And Alyssa. All right. Hmm. Do we, is it worth the six points for that? I think so. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to pay the two bucks to go on to just ship movement. And then I will just come down and I will get the blue penguin. So the blue penguin, that's a third one now he doesn't have. Plus, that's going to get me a ton of book movement. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea better. So we're going to also have a sea adventure. So I'm not sure if I shuffled these. I don't think so. Okay, and we'll cut. Ah! No one saw a thing. Let's try that again. Sheesh. We are there. I think that's it. Okay. And he is where the beagle is. There we go. Okay. So now we'll cut. There we go. Oh, God, that's wonderful. Yes, we will spend the three time. One, two, three. Which... Deliveries are now problematic, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, I think I think this is just too good to pass up. So we will do f two correspondence on two different ones and take the token. That, I don't know, could have gone better. So two correspondence on each. Um, so we can take four. So what do we want here? The two explore. 
would get us yet another and get that ship out. I don't know that I necessarily want the seal in the two movement. It's fine. It gets that one out. It does back us up some time. That would be pretty great. But we're going to be able to do that here anyways. So... I think getting that one feels pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. So we're going to take all four of these. We're going to put two there. We're going to put two there. And we get two land explore. And I think we go there. So that'll get us the red fossil. And put out our ship here. That feels good. That feels good. I like that. Okay. That's the end of the round. So now, obviously turn order doesn't change. So now we do reward scoring. So it is round two. Four points. He gets eight points for that. He gets eight to 24. Uh, ocean tokens, I have one, I get six. Hey, yay, there we go. Okay, so that's here. We also do these, it, it's not gonna impact that, no. So technically should have done the correspondence first, I apologize. So correspondence, hey, good news, we get one of each. So we get either a land or a sea. The C gets us up to where the beagle is, or will be. It, oh, we get both. That's right. Um, that's right. So, the C... Uh, oh, no. The ocean one, the C one will definitely be this guy for the one. That'll be taking the objective and one time back. That seems too good to pass up, so that's good. That goes there. And we're taking that one, and that'll go there. Oh, and I just saw, so we've taken the water one, we haven't taken the land, we now qualify for that. Um, we could get three bucks, or make those free. I think we make those free, the way he's taking them. That seems good, okay. Okay, so now our land action. We already have this one. So I don't know how important it is to continue pushing up this track right now. Oh wait, no, not that way, this way, oh. No objective in a book, that doesn't feel great. I think going here, there, that'll be a, Seal, and all seals are free plus placement will be minus two. However, we lose a, it's gonna cost us a buck if we take from the second row. We have two red. We need either a yellow. Ah. Yellow or blue. I don't want to spend any more time. I think we go blue. So that is free because of that. And then it's going to cost us one plus an extra buck but we get a discount of two to place it there. 
Done. And now we have a land adventure. Huh. I don't think I... I... Mm. So it's a five book swing, potentially. Going back two on the book track doesn't feel punitive. And the three ship, that's a free action. And it gets us our other worker out, or other explorer. I think we do that one. So we'll go one, two, three movement, two back on the book track. I'm okay with that. Plus there's no scoring for the land adventure tiles. I mean, it does matter, for, but we're not going to get a ton of points from that anyways. So I, I think that's the right thing to do. And I don't want to keep pushing up the time on that. So that feels right. Okay. So that was us here. Now he takes one. And how does he choose? Huh. That's a good question. It doesn't say. Hmm. It doesn't say. I could flip a coin or I choose maybe if it doesn't say. So, you know what, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna give him the two coins because I don't want him to move his ship, uh, which would put out another one of his workers. Yeah, I'm good with that. So, he will go there and get two coins. So that's one and a ping, and he goes there. Oh, I didn't add my new explorer, thank you. There we go. Oh, I have the other ship, don't I? Oh, that's a good call. Okay, that's a fair point. I forgot I had my other ship. Good call. Yes, which would then score us more points. So three. Okay, let's look at this. One. Or two, three, get four points and place a lens at a discount of two. But the problem is I don't have the money for that. Okay. So maybe instead we go here and just do the one. Oh, and we get the ocean adventure. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. I will take that one. I mean, I said that's what we were going to go heavy on. So... This is the most I've ever had on there. Yeah, I like it. I like where y'all's head's at. Good call. So we will have the ocean adventure. This is fun. Well, good news, bad news. I would love to take the bottom one, but we only have one buck. So the one time. We're now at seven, but we get a seal and the token. Okay. We will take the seal. Oh, I'm sorry, the token. And what seal do we want? There's no discount on it. Seals are going to cost us a buck. I only have a buck. So it's going to cost us one. So I can't place it there. So it's going to have to be for the green or the blue. So this is already working on the bottom one. Or is it? Oh, God. I just realized I shouldn't have taken that one. Nope. You know what? It changes nothing. I will have taken that one instead earlier. That makes sense. There we go. Um, so that one is this one, actually. So I could take the red... 
or the blue. Both of those work for us. I guess technically the purple too, but I don't think so. I could take the green too. Oh, I think we take the blue and it's free, but I paid the buck because of that. Okay, nice. All right, so again, he got his for this and that goes away for him, finally. Now we go back to time, one, two, we lose one of these. And then we will score, I've already scored everything, but I get six more because we added one more. So there we go. All right. And now we get these new. I already qualify for the left one and we're halfway to the right one of those. Okay. All right. The beagle moves. The beagle will move there. We get our workers back. Okay, and these push. There we go, and refill. There we go. Whew. Man. All right. The good news is we have a couple deliveries ready now, right? Like, yeah, we have that, 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 and that all ready for us. Oh, that is glorious. Okay. That should get us a bunch up on the book track, as well as cash, because obviously we, we be poor. So, all right. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Beagle is moved, here we go. All right, the B worker. B, so that is the lower, lowest most that he has at least one seal yellow or blue. Lowest most are those two. So he has at least one seal of the, of the blue and he has enough coins to pay for the second one. So he will do that. So he will place the worker. It's free to place. I get a coin. However, he has to pay three for the temporary. One, two, three, so that is legit. And now he's going to do three ship movement. The ship movement, if behind the beagle, he will move on that track, so, and that's his only boat out, so that'll go one, two, and uh, I believe it will go the longest possible. Let me double check. Ship movement. Uh, good, yes. Full distance. If there are multiple paths, we'll take the longest route. All right, cool. So, uh, one, two, and three. So he gets the blue feather as well. But, uh, all right, that's him. Oh, good call. We slide these in. Wow, those are getting strong. So for those wondering what they're going to be this turn, six points when he passes the middle one, 
and three adventure or three uh, land path. All right, we need to make some deliveries. We are very specialized. I'm seeing this. Uh, at least those are free, but it cost me an extra buck. I am poor. Um, I think we just use the green to start for a delivery. Okay. So, what one does he have that we also have? Blue feather. Did I? Yeah. Okay, so the blue feather is getting delivered. Uh, second. That one. However, we need cash. So what is his next thing? Oh, he should have a explorer out down here. His next one is going to be the red pickaxe. So there, so I guess that's the one we're going to do. We will go there, taking that coin, and we will get one, two, three cash, and one, two, three, three books, right? Yeah, so we get three, three cash. Does it count itself? That's just basic game stuff. Like, now I'm confusing myself on that. Uh, whenever, let's see, deliveries. <laughs> yeah, for already placed. So, he should be back too, because I gave him two too many then in that case. And now, I will get one, two, three on the book track there. Yes, because I was giving him for that and that as well. Because this one should have only given him one, and this one should have given him three instead of two and four. So we're good there. And now we will do the blue feather. Little penguin, he's adorable. That will be one coin. That's better. And I have to pay three coins to take that. So there, which I already had, so I have $3 now. And then I will get one, two, three, four, five on the book track, five to nine. That's better, that's better. All right, woo. All right, he's up. Lens is empty. So he will, uh, bottom most available worker. That'll be here. Wow! Threw his worker around. Sorry about that, Alfred. He's there. Uh, so lens placement is the top most locked position that the top worker can satisfy in seals and coins. Okay. The top most locked location. Top most will be those two. Does he have a yellow? Arguably, yes. And he could get a second one with coins. And if tied, if multiple, the worker's leftmost color wax seal or whatever he has the most of. Leftmost is green. Or is it the leftmost on the, ah, it's probably that because we use that worker. I think so. Oh, and I completed that, so I get one more. You're right, thank you. 
Thanks. Yep. Rose full. That works. Okay. Um, so the priority for him on which of those two it is, just want to make sure for gaining for this one, uh, for getting seals. The color of the selected worker. Yep. Uh, no. Da, 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 da. Wrong thing. That's not. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Sorry. That's for getting seals. <sighs> that their topmost worker can satisfy and where Alfred is able to pay. Right. So if there are multiple. On the topmost uh, that has the topmost priority, nope. If none, nope. So I would argue it could be either, so we'll go with the leftmost. So he will go ahead and do the correspondence there. Because it is the topmost and he has the purple, and that kind of changes things a little bit. Uh, normally, if, you know, if we're not playing the Fireland side, he wouldn't have the purple there, but I digress. So he has done that. So now, yeah, he'll take the action, which is going to be three correspondence. He will take one, two, three, and they will, uh, he, he will... Take the majority from player. If there's multiple, it'll be the topmost, I think. So he's going to place three there. He emptied this, which means he is going to get one bump on the bonus track. That is going to be six points. Let's try that again. There we go. Six points and three on the... Uh, Exploration or on the foot movement, so three, six points. And now it'll be the green track, if possible, it's not, then the most recently placed. Perform every, uh, the last two actions, so he's getting three movement. That'll be one, two, Three. Okay, so let's do these one at a time. He moves back on the time track and gets a book. Back on the time track, gets a book. Done. We put out his ship there. He gets the red pickaxe. Fossil. Done. Uh, we'll do the adventure, actually, we'll go ahead and do that now. He gets that token, and gets that, yeah, we'll put it there, and that was, uh, ah, what was it, it's two, is it, spends two coins? Uh, two time, and two spots on the bonus track, so two time, and whoop. One, two, that's for the token. Skip this. So now he will take an objective and three points. Three points, gets rid of the gold objective. And moves three on the bonus track. One, two, three, which then gets him six points. Oh, crap. One. He only gets the last two. So I'll fix that in a minute. He's going to get six more points. 39. You're right. He only gets the last two things. Last two things are that and that. So he won't get the book and the time. So he'll actually be there and moving back on the book. There we go. Yep. And to be clear, he took the adventure, 
and that, the last most, and he'll get the specimen because he always gets the specimen. So we just shouldn't have gotten that, but obviously he's going to get that. So just that. Okay, good call. Okay. All right. That was, that was a big turn for him. That was a lot. All right, we're up. Uh, we delivered this. We've not delivered that. We have three more we can deliver now? Yeah. Do we do that now? Because everything he has has been delivered. I think I can wait to do that a minute. Huh, where's the priority right now if... So he's there. The book track's nice, not gonna lie. We're, we're doing pretty heavy on that. So if I were to go there for the exploration, it cost me a coin, get me at three on the book track. It just doesn't feel great though. It doesn't feel like a lot. Um, so that's that one. Finishing this one would get me the lens at a discount of two. But the problem is it's going to cost me two, but now I don't have enough to do that. Okay, so if money's tight, or, or the other option, I don't have any of the temporary tokens. So basically I can't go there. I can't go to any of those. So if I go and do one of those actions, it's free. But the problem is I can't. Uh, if I were to put two correspondence there, that will tie me there, and I'm still moving back to time. Seals also make sense. I think, I, I mean, I hate that I have three and I can't do anything more than just one damn seal. I guess all the seals are free, so that's a, an advantage. I'm going to have to deliver, but no, I think we do the seal. Oh, we get a seal. We deliver. And then unlock one or ship movement and get the unlock there. I like that idea. Which then would give us another action. So maybe I'm doing this in the wrong order. It would cost me two extra bucks to do it in a different order, but I would get more seals out of it, and I feel like that's more important. Yes, we're gonna deliver again. Okay, so the first one we're gonna deliver, is, I, I think we're gonna deliver both of the, those two, I think. Or that one would complete it for the book track? Yeah, actually, we're going to do the two greens. So we will do the lizard first. That gives us that buck. And that'll be one, two, three, four, five. God, that's helpful. Now we're up to nine. And it'll only get us 
one book, but I'm okay with that. The second one is going to be the green pickaxe, which will get us just one coin, puts us at 10, but we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, and it's complete six on the book track, six to 17. That felt good. Thanks, Gert. Yeah, I'm good with that. Now we're flush with cash to be able to do everything else that I want to do. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Cool. All right, his penultimate turn this round. We will shuffle at the end of this. Uh, can he deliver? The answer is yes. Where did he get the sea anemone from? Oh, no, he's already delivered that. Sorry, never mind, never mind, never mind. He cannot. Sorry, I was looking at my board compared to him. Never mind. He cannot deliver. So instead, uh, looking at this, we are looking at the special action. No other workers. It's on the right side, so he will take the bottom most worker. He will put it there. Move four spaces on the bonus track. That's it. That's cool. So one, two, three, and four. Well, that worked out, and so I don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle now. Now, I had mentioned ship movement to be able to get the lens, and then, oh, we could get a ton of seals, possibly, this turn. And if we're going to do, I think this makes the most sense. We skip the, the temporary, but I, I think it's the right thing. I think so. So, it's going to cost us two bucks to go up there. Two. That'll go. Then we get two ship movement. So that'll be one, two to go there. We cross this, so that'll get put out. We're going to get four points and a lens. So the four points puts us at 20. The lens will be that one at a discount of two. That'll be two bucks. We'll get a lens, put that there. And then we get two seals at a discount of one. And these are all free for us now, and so it'll be a discount down here. So that might not be a bad idea. Do we get the two yellows? Trying to remember what that icon is. The one with the X through it. Uh, is that take the action or perform a locked action? Right. That is tempting. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll take the two yellows. Yellow and yellow. We get a discount of one buck to do that. That's the discount there. And we will pay two bucks for that. Getting three back. And then, that is now complete. So we will go ahead and take that. So that's done. Which also qualifies us for this. Um. Hmm, we'll come back to that in a minute. 
but the free lens action. What do we want to do? I mean, we could get more seals. Is that dumb? Placing four correspondence would get us two ship movement, which gets us ahead of the beagle. I mean, I don't want to take the four ship movement. I think going crazy on the seals, huh, I think we take the four correspondence. Oh, but it's all on one. That's the only problem with that, right, okay. Oh, and I need to see what that does, sorry. Place a single stamp on every envelope. Ah, that's not as good. Two bucks is nice, but it, if it tied me there, that would be worth it. So I don't think any of those. The four travel. Um, gets us... Mm, that would get us three and a, you know. Mm. No, I don't think so. One, two, three, five, but no, that just feels not great. Um, do we go crazy? Because we can do seal. Oh, I guess I could do correspondence. Three correspond. Ah, there we go. Yes, we will do the the seals. Yeah. So we will do this one with our crew card. So we're gonna get we get that one. So that's an extra seal. So we're going to get three seals. One of which, all of these are free, to a discount of three from one of them. Okay. Well. We will take the $3 discount for this, and we will place that there. Oh, we don't get the, sorry, I'm not using my worker. Never mind, I only get two, so that. So there's the $3 discount one. And then the one without a discount, uh, Green or blue is the question. And I think we go with the green. And we'll take the other one, keep it from him, and the green will go there, which is free. However, every seal costs an extra buck, so it's gonna cost me two bucks because of that. Okay. That was good, I'm good with that. All right, his final turn this round. Lens, he won't do, so he will do the A worker. The A worker is bottom most unlocked with at least one matching seal. So, then the cheapest in coin is the next priority. So he has two blue, he has plenty of green, and so I think it'll be, oh no, um, 
Oh, no, we can't do a blue. Because that... So I'm looking yellow. No. Red, no. So cheapest in coin will be green. Whee! This will cost him $3. Hey, I'm starting to learn. There we go. He's moving three. And the most recently placed will be that one. He's still not on the green track, so most recently unlocked. Longest route, last two actions, three steps. One, so skip it, two, three. He will get two books and five bucks. Two books and five bucks up to 11, and he's done. I think I actually did that one right. Right, all right, so it's our turn. And the question is, do we complete the objective? Like, because we have that done, so we qualify for that. But I don't know if we do, because we're broke. And, you know, getting that one would be nice, getting that one would be nice, but I, I think we just, we hold off on it. I think it just hangs out. And, and, and why take the green, um, Shrey? I, I just wanted something to fill it so that when I take this, it does it really matter? I guess, and there's no yellow? So I guess I could have taken a blue, but so yeah, I, I, I'm okay. I, I think now, do we take the seals? Two more seals. Now that'd be three more seals, but we can't because it's going to cost us an extra coin and we only have two coins. So I think we take the objective, or the, I'm sorry, the correspondence. I think the correspondence makes more sense right now. The correspondence will go there. He gets a coin. It's free for us to place. But we do get the, um, both the distinctions. So I can mix and match, and I get an extra. So I get a total of four placed anywhere I want. I guess I could have taken the yellow, but I didn't want to go down to the next level. So, eh, eh, I'm good with this. So it's going to be four. Two water movement. Yeah, we're going to take four from the C movement. Oh, by the way, we took that, so he's there, that's done. So we can place these anywhere. So I think we go one, two, three. Cost them another time, get two bucks. We're short on money, and I'm already getting that, so I think we do that. That seems good. I like this. I think that works. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so now we get the two water movement. Let's go ahead and get past the beagle. One, two, which then puts this out there. I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah, so. Now we do these. We get both the, the top and bottom, so we're going to lose half that. He loses half rounded nut in his favor, correct? I think. So he loses two of them. Somebody correct me on that. So for the correspondence. So we're going to get one of each first for that, and then he had three. So I think we take two. I think that's it. 
For us, we get one of each. So here's the conundrum. It's two points for every step. But golly, so I don't want to do this yet. I don't want to do this yet. So I guess our step is going to be that. Three points, or I already have this one. And the objective, I, oh, I can complete that. So yeah, let's do that one. Three points and the objective. That seems good, okay. And then for the water movement, I don't have a choice. How do we get that boat out? That boat comes out from here, which we need to, okay, so that'll go there. Done. That's us. Okay. So now, he will take one, and again, it doesn't say, so we're going to choose for him. Uh, we could give him a seal. Well, no, it would be the most recently placed, correct? Right. So it'd be this one. No, he's behind the beagle. So it would be that one for C movement or two points in a book. Uh, I think we're going to cost him the point. So we're going to give him this. I'm going to give him two points in the book. because he's going to lose more points for being behind. So that's done. Now we get two bucks for the correspondence. And he, well, he's going to gain two points, but so be it. So that goes away. So that's two bucks and he loses a time. And then here, ah, I wasn't thinking going back to cost us four points. Damn it, that was dumb in hindsight, but c'est la vie. All right, correspondence is done, and now, as we said, two points per. So one, two, three, six, and he gets eight. Eight to 49, and we get six to 29. All right. That's all right, we still can go back five times over the course of that, so eh, it's not terrible, I guess. Okay, uh, objective, oh, and we completed that objective. That is right. We could get where a tent it, which is three bucks. Oh, interesting. So we could place that there, which would get us $3, and then spend those $3 plus two more to get the extra worker there. That seems, that seems like a non bad idea. Let's do it. So we'll go there, which gets us three bucks for the tent, the tent right there. And then I'll spend two and unlock our last worker. Okay, so now that that's done, three ocean ones and two stacks empty. I'm most of the way through that. I have that one already. So getting an objective seems good. Oop, that should be upside down. That should be upside. Oh my God, I put them all upside down. Let's shuffle those up. Oh, yes, he is penalized for being behind the beagle. Thank you, I forgot about that. Um, three points. Oh, I messed this up. This is round three times six. It should be 18 points. Minus three is 15. He should have scored 15 instead of one, two, three, four, eight. So he should have seven more. One, and back to six. Yep, good call, good call. Uh, 
four. Not six, four. That's right. Twelve, nine. Two, four, six, eight. One more point. God, I am struggling. Math. There we go. Whew. Minus the, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yep, I just, I forgot he doesn't score the round bonus. My bad. Uh, all right, where was I? Those, reset that, that goes away, these slide up. Those two. Eagle moves, penultimate round. I think that's it. Oh, workers, probably had to do that too. There we go. All right. Whew. Okay. He's up. All right. Oh, hold on one second. Give me a second. All right. Here we go. All right. Lens. He will. So small diary, bottom most available worker. We'll go there. And topmost lock location where he can seal with his topmost worker. So topmost. So it's going to be the bottom row of those. And cheapest in seals and coins. So he'll go with the green one. there and then he's going to get four movement okay his green is still not out so he will move as far as possible and get the two last things so that'll be one two well he wouldn't get that because he's going to get the adventure token and he's going to get all of that so four coins and four points he will get four coins and four points. Okay. Four coins is going to be four pings on that. So four and four points. So that's, let me drop these down too, because we're in round four. It'll hit that. So that's 10 points. One, two, three, four. 10 points he'll get. No, he won't. Back that up. Because he has to pay. He doesn't pay. No, he doesn't pay anything for that. No, he didn't pay anything for that. Oh, he has to pay the lens cost. Yes, he does. Five. And then he gets four coins. There we go. That's right. And four points. And now he's at fifty. Four. Okay, that's better. All right, we are up. We still have one delivery that we can make to the museum, but I think we hold off on that. This ship is dead. I'm just gonna, for my own sake, that is done. So just so I don't keep looking at that. One, two, three land movement. That wouldn't be terrible. Uh, hmm.
Yeah, I want to pick up both of those because then I would have all four and that would be 24 points. That would be glorious. So these are my priorities this round, given the scoring tile that's out there. So I'm in pretty good shape time-wise. However, if I were to go land movement, land movement, land movement, water movement, delivery. That's what I want to do. There, have the adventure. That'll pay for the time itself right there. Three. Yeah, I think we start with the land movement. So I don't want to bother wasting anything. So I think Oh, wait a minute. If I were to use that one, that would give me three, one, two, th oh. Oh, that would save me. But I'm gonna be short on money depending on what happens with that. I don't, mm. here's what I'm juggling, is whether or not I could either stop here or I could go there, and if I, I could make it all the way to there, and I can pick up two of these. So obviously that, that, and that, all of them are important. Oh, or do we do the water movement first? I would like... Nah, I'm not going to be able to get away with it, I don't think. So, the money is important. This might seem short-sighted, but I think I'm going to do this so that I can get the money and the time. I think it's worth it. So, we'll go there. Using the green there, we get a total of three movement between that and the top, and I can pick up two things. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go two of it, though. One, two. We'll get four bucks. I will spend one buck to place a tent, which then gets us two bucks for doing that, and back three times. So we'll get two more dollars and back three times. One, two, three. And then we will have the adventure. Ooh, place a lens. Or I can almost finish both of those objectives. Oh, God. One I can already complete. That's a ton of points, those objectives. Oh, but the place in lens. The lens gets me four ocean movement. One, two, three, four which gives me that, which that would give me the objective. Ah, I think I got to do the bottom one, though. Getting the objective, I, ah. Because it's points, right? Plus the three points. I mean, it's 11 points for us. And the token. 
I think I got to do the bottom one. I want to do the top, but I think I got to do the bottom. So three time, that'll be the token. Uh, three points. And which objective? There's a chance that he's going to make the other one go away. Now, I'm probably going to be able to get that ocean one easy. Yeah, I think we take the gold. It's worth too many points. Even though I can't complete it yet. We're close. That'll work. Done. That was that was hard. That was that was thought consuming on that one. All right. No delivery. So he will place on the top right and gain four. That will go there. And he will gain four bonus. So one, two, three, four. That was six and three book track. Six points and three on the book track. There we go. And it's free. Okay. We're up. I think we go ahead and do the water one. Yeah, we will. There, that'll be two bucks to do that. And it'll be uh, three water movement. That one's done, so we're going one, two. We'll have the ocean adventure, and we put out... Sorry about that, dropped him on his head. There. All right, ocean adventure. What do we got? Man. So when you go back, do you lose? Will I lose the, um, the placement of the explorer? I don't know the answer to that. It doesn't unpack that. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't say. Move one of the sh player's ships. Uh, the indicated number of spaces backwards on the associated ocean track do not perform any actions uh, where it lands. I don't think I lose doing so. So it's just going to cost me an extra action to take that. Or I go back three times. Oh, I don't know if I, you know what? I am going to do the top. Never mind. One, two, three. Deliveries cost me a book, but so be it. Three books and two points. Done to 34. Okay. All right. But I don't get the token. That's the only, that's the downside, which means I don't get that yet. Grr. All right. So be it. All right, ease up. And we'll shuffle at the end of this. No delivery again. He will do A. Uh, the bottom most unlocks, so that'll be more land. Goes on his own. It's going to cost him three bucks. 
there, and that'll be three land. Which, he cannot do this one, because that one's done, so it's got to be this one. So that'll be one, skip, two, three. And he does take all specimens in the last two passed. So he will get... So he doesn't gain those. He doesn't gain the... Um, Temporary tokens. So he gains three coins instead. Right. So he will get that, which has already been delivered. <laughs> there. He will get the sea snake, which has already been delivered. Has it? Oh, it has not. Need to be careful on that. Okay. So that one. Uh, so he got that, he got that, and here he will get two book and three coins. Three coins? I'm sorry, not uh, two books, two points. Done. We're going to shuffle, and there's a 25% chance that he will deliver that. Or I can go ahead and deliver it, but the problem is it's just not efficient because I want to get that turtle first. In fact, I didn't get that. That sucks. Oh, well, that can wait. So either the lizard or... Uh, I think I want the... Eh, it's six and one and a half dozen the other, isn't it? Really is. Um... It's going to cost me two bucks. We're going to just move one no matter which one I do. So I might as well do this one and take the tortoise and hope he doesn't. It's not great. Not, not an awesome turn, but so be it. And now we shuffle for him. Yay, he didn't deliver. All right, so lens, he can't do, so he will do B. B is, yeah, he can do it. Right there. Uh, it's free for him, too. So he puts three correspondence. That'll be one, two, and three. He will try and beat me out, so that's four to two there. And he gets four coins for that, one, two, three, four. And with doing that, he gets three ship movement as well. Uh, he is way, way behind. So one, two, three, and put out his explorer. Okay, that's it. That's his round. We have two more turns. That's awesome. Well, one of which is going to be deliver. So let's just go ahead and do that now. So we will deliver. We're going to deliver those two. Uh, I need the money. So we will do the tortoise first. One, two. Three, cash, turning two in, getting five, puts us at six. And then we will get one, two, three in the book track there. And then we will do the 
eel or sea snake there, which will get us a whopping one coin, but it will get us one, two, three, four, five on the book track. One, two, three, four, and five there. All right. Now what? Now we're free agents. What do we want to do? Uh, we could spend all our money to place the lens there, which would give us a correspondence on each. Which is not terrible, because it would get us two bucks back, add a time onto him, and we go back two time. Oh, and I lose two on the book track, and it cost me three dollars. Hold on. One, two, because of the penalty for that, and it cost me three bucks, so never mind. I cannot do that. I only have four bucks. Okay. So... We could take that objective, which we can complete. Oh, yeah, that's the no-brainer, I think. Because we're so poor. We'll get the two bucks now. We'll take the objective, which is two blue and a red we already have. And at this point, I think we just go ahead and put it there. I think that just makes sense. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was going to move so I could get that to be able to get that. But I lose that. But I'm probably going to be able to complete whatever comes out. So it cost me to... I don't know which is more important. Oh, he should have gone the other way, you're right. I'll fix that in a minute. Good call. Yeah, I think instead I'm going to spend the two bucks. Go up there. And get the two, or one movement. One, which will give me that specimen there. And you're right. Let me fix this. Okay. So, he moved three. He moved... No, he moved... Hey, move three, right? Yeah, he was here. One. Well, either way. So. No, he would end up here. Sorry. Okay. So he would get this and the adventure token. Oh, God. I'm going to have to back this up a fair bit. Okay. Let's go through it slowly. Three coins. Mm. Three. I think so. Uh. Two points. I just can't remember where he was on the coin track. That's what I'm struggling with. He'll place a tent. He goes back two time. He gets to place a correspondence on each of these. And he gets three there, which is going to be six points and three book. And then he'll get a book and the objective. Well, that works out. 
there and a book. And whenever he gets rid of the objective, he gets three bumps. Three. And he takes that. Nope, back up. He wouldn't have done that, would he? Because he's only doing that. Back up the book and the three. He wouldn't have gotten there. The objective would have stayed, but it's the end of the round, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that's good. Nope. He adds two time and gets two on the bonus track for whenever he takes the adventure token. All right, I think that's good. Again, I, I always hear Mark Herman in my head. Uh, anytime you make a mistake doing a solo... Um, as long as you're not like trying to game the system, it's on the up and up, which yeah, I could have, but I, I'm trying to do it right, y'all. So these three go away. I'm just, and then I will do the scoring and the uh, correspondence. Uh. Okay, we will put these out, one of each, and four ocean. Good luck with that one. Okay, uh, take our workers back, and then I will do the scoring. All right, correspondence, he gets one of each. So can't move that one, this one, now he'll get two points and three coins, done. Then he will do that. Okay, and we will get rid of three of these. I will get rid of one Oh, I guess I could have gotten it, the one movement from that, but whatever. Uh, I think getting this going makes sense. I'll pay the coin, put my boat out. I'm sorry, my tent. And when I do that, I get one ship and back one time. So the ship will go there and back one time. That's nice. But then when I did that, I will get either one land or two ship movement for putting the tent out. And the one land feels like a no-brainer right now. That'll go there. So that's three points and a book track. And the adventure. And the land adventure says... Uh, I think we'll take the bottom one. So, one land movement. So, it's going to be two time. There. Three points. And then, one land movement. The land movement will be either that, no. The back two times nice, but I think we need the cash. So we go there for the four bucks, which gives us straight up a nickel. Done. All right, so that was ours here. He gets two bucks, one and ping. And I lose a time. This is no good. That goes away. And then he goes back two time. One, two. Then for the round, he is four times four is 16. 16 minus four is 12. So he gets 12 to 30. That is six, and I have all four that, and I'm ahead, so 24 to 14. Somebody's closer. 
There we go. That's better. All right, the beagle moves for the final round, which is stacks. So I need to get that out for the correspondence. That'd be great. Three ship movement would be great for that. And I need to get my time down. And I need to get this. Where is... Oh, actually, I just need to get that. Okay. The delivery, which he does not have. Okay. All right. Oh, I also do have that one. That's a good call. Yep. Okay. Here we go. All right. Delivery. He cannot. Okay. So the A worker, the lowest, so he can and he will. So that'll go there. It's free to do. It's for movement. It will always be this one if he can. Four is, unfortunately, one, two, three, four. Damn it, you beat me to it. Oh, well. Um, so the last two and specimen. So he'll get this and the tortoise. I don't care that he has the tortoise because that's already done there. But he gets two on the book track and four points. Two and four points. Done. Okay. So, uh, that is a lot of points. I need to be able to put out four correspondence. That's what I would like to be able to do. Um, you need to go back time. What's the priority? What's the order? I feel like here, that way we cost him money out of it. That seems really good. Yeah, that one's less important, but it is points. I'm wondering whether or not I should try and get that lens. Or should I just go ahead and do that and put it all on one? Uh, but then we're broke. He doesn't have the delivery. I don't know if I should do that, but then I can't do the explore, which will get me money. Um, oh, this is tough. What is the priority? just doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't, putting that out. It's too expensive right now. So I think we have to do that. Do we just do the purple because I don't need the extra? I think so. So we'll go there. That's going to cost us two bucks.
And then we go one, two, is it worth sacrificing the dollar to go further? I don't think so. I think we stop there. We put out our last ship, and we'll take the nickel. That's action number one. His second doesn't have a delivery, but we will shuffle. He will take his lowest worker out, go there, and four. One, two, three, four, and I forgot to push these again. And that will be four on the book track. Ouch. Four. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to catch him, but we're going to figure that out. All right. Now that we have a little bit of cash to be able to do stuff, four, three, but I'm still going to need another correspondence to be able to put out to be able to get that. I think I do it while I can. I will take the colorless, put that there, spend the five bucks, put the lens out there, and that lets us put all four. Do we go back two time, which that is four points, or do we do something up there at the top and fight him for that? The one, I imagine I can do something better, so I will go ahead and do all that. I get a seal at a discount of two bucks. All those are free to take and then placing, so it's going to be, cost me an extra buck normally, but now it's a discount because of that. So, um, I can take any seal and place it anywhere, so why uh, Can I do one of those is the question. That just seems definitively better. So I will take the green. That'll go there, and that's free. And that's empty. Good. All right. Uh, we shuffle. Good enough. Go. All right. His B worker. Lowest possible. Lowest possible is this. He can. So he has two yellow. That requires three. I get a buck. And then it's going to cost him three coins to do that. But he can. And he's going to put out four. Oh! Maybe he won't do that. Because if he's out of it, he won't do it. Right? Yeah, I don't think he'll do that, actually. So, doesn't say, but kind of makes sense that he wouldn't. So, okay, the lowest possible. So, we can't do that one. Oh, right. So, does he go bottom most unlocked, empty with at least one matching wax seal? So, blue. He could do blue. Yes. Okay, so the blue will be three coins. There we go. So it'll be this one to go there. And I still get my coin. Uh, so it's going to be three and longest. One, two, three. So he will go back to time and get three coins. Go back to time and get three coins. Done. Okay. Yep. All right. I would like, I think, to do that one. Do I need to do it now is the question. I don't know. Uh, I still have a delivery that he doesn't have. He has one action left. I have three. It's just a matter of maximizing. Getting across this feels like super important.
Okay. So if I have three actions left, that will get me three seals. And that gets me the three movement that I need. Oh, I'm already getting one here. I don't need to do that. Okay. It's not worth getting that. So I will go ahead and just do that. I'll pay my two bucks. Need to be careful. That has to happen. Yeah, it's too many. Uh, 24, 19, that's five. Whereas that would be, but I'm losing the coins. The seals makes more sense. Doing that first. Never mind. Move that pack. I'll do the seals. I will go there. That'll get me a total of three seals. And yeah, you pay two instead of three in a two player game. Shrey. Uh, distinctions. What is the last distinction? up there. I can't remember what it is. Talking about that one, the gold one. What is that last distinction? Is that a... Yeah, I can't remember what the hell that is. Wax seal discount. Pay one fewer coin for each action. Okay. All right. So I get three seals. They're all free, but cheaper to place here. So, I will take a green and a red. Oh wait, no. Yes, okay, a green and a red. One of which has a discount of one, and every one is one cheaper. So that's free, that's free. And I get a third one. The third one will be the blue. And that's cheaper. One cheaper as well. Done. Okay, his last turn. Oh, I do get the two bucks back. Thank you. Got it. All right, his last action is B, no, okay, so it'll be C, the lowest possible blue or green. That'll be green. Okay, so it'll be back three coins, under green, three, so that's done, that's done got to be this going three one two three so it'll be the specimens in the last two so it'll be this and this not the tent so the specimen will be the yellow flower there three correspondence which he can't and Three points. So what happens if he's out of correspondence? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, shoot, I should have done that earlier. I'm an idiot. When he went over there, he should have... I forgot you can take him there. Um, I made a mistake. One, two, three. So we're tied. Five, five. Okay, he's done. Oh, I guess I should have, and but that would cost me two bucks to do that. You're right. Good call. All right, I have two actions left. Oh, wait a minute. That should have been a red. Durr. Oh, boy. There. Because now 
that gets us this. That. So it's two and two movement. Um, I need money from one of them. Oh, what can we do? I can do that. Oh, there it is. One, two for five bucks. And then one, two to put out the tent there. The tent will get me either a correspondence or a seal. That's going to cost me three bucks for that. So there, get two back. Eight points. Eight to 22. And then correspondence or a seal. I think we do the correspondence. Yeah. And the correspondence will be that. And now we take our action. That seems good. Could do that. I mean, I have to move the boat at some point, so let's just do that. So that'll go there for a total of two boat movement. One, two, done. Whee! And for the last action, that would get us three exploration. We only need two, but we get both those, so let's do it. Um, oh, God, I got to deliver, don't I? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that for my last turn. Let's see. Here's what I'm thinking of doing. One, two. I would go back four times, get five points, and two book track. So I would get both of those because it is, I get both distinctions. And I would get possibly the adventure token. So that, and that back four is a total of seven points. If I complete this, that's 12 points. So there's seven guaranteed. No. From nine, back four, one, two, three, four. That's seven, that's 12. Plus this, depending on how that works. And that could be, do we gamble? Or do we take the sure thing? I'm already gaining four points moving back from that. I don't think we... I don't think we gamble. I think we have to deliver. But I'm giving him the exact same points. Well, hold on. I would get one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Eh. Yeah, that's too hard to pass up, I think. I think I have to do that. That's two, that's two. No, we'll deliver. Fine. Coin. So one, two, three. No, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't. Yeah, all right, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. You guys talked me into it. We'll keep this one for ourselves. All right. Let's go for a walk. Back four time. 
It's more, it's more fun that way, too. It's five points to 27. Uh, so that's time, time, two on the book track, and get to have an adventure. I mean, <sighs> that's not great. That didn't work out real well. Uh, I think we have to take the top. Yeah, we do. Oh, well. One, two, three. Uh, we get a seal, which won't want, and take the token. Won't want. That's all right. Uh, no, the last objective is not complete yet, but it's fixing to be. All right. So we went for a walk, so that was two bucks to go up there instead. All right. So not going to bother resetting anything, but here uh, we're tied. Let's go ahead and take care of him first. He's going to advance one there. Done. And then for his walk, can't do that one, can't do that one, can't do it. He can't walk. Is that right? Oh, right here. Forgot to put it out. So he will get that one, but that's moot. Doesn't matter, but completionist in me says I need to there. All right, so he's done. Now, oh, I should have done it the other way because I get a walk, which would have given me the two books. It would have saved me, but oh well. Um, that's four points. Or four points, I think. So here, we'll start by doing that, which gives us this. And it's got to be the bottom one because we need that token. Hey, this worked out marvelously well. So one time, we get the token. And we get an objective. The objective is going to be the silver one because we can complete it. And we can complete both of those now. So that works. So we get that one. And we now have three and that. So that one. Well, that worked out really, really well. Okay. Uh, so now the walking, I think the two time makes the most sense. So, go back two time. That's four points. And that would have been four point. Oh, we can't go there. Never mind. Uh, good. So that's here. Nothing. We go back two more time. One, two. And then here. This is round five times four. He gets 20 points. 20 to 57. 107. We have all three of ours. That's 24. That's to 1. 101. There we go. All right. So, final scoring. Perform as normal. Alfred wins a shared victory. Okay. So let's take a look at ours, shall we? First off, I go back two points. I'm at 49. I'm not going to get up for that, though, because we're going forward. Okay, so here we go. 13, uh, 12, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26. 26 and 20 is 46. 46, we'll call it. Uh, back to, right, 40, 44 to 45. That's my board there, and that's this. And then is 2, 3, 4 times 13. That is 52. 
So 52. 197, leader in the clubhouse. He gets no minuses, has no objectives. So I think he gets this, correct? So has 12, and two, three, four, 48. 48 is there and back to, is that right? Oh, and he's behind the beagle, he loses five. There. He's at 150, I'm at 197. Is that right? Am I forgetting any of his scoring? Oh, and the adventure tokens. Good call. Let's see. Uh, they both gain the end game points according to the multiplayer rules. But he, okay, so he doesn't get objectives. And he doesn't get anything else, right? Um, so he has three tokens. So he loses a point. So technically. He's at 149, and we have 7, which is 6 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 203. Yeah, so that's it. So wow, we crushed 203 to 149. What, Alfred? Oh my God. Yeah, no, I, I mean, as best I can tell, he doesn't have any points for his board, right? Like, I don't think so. Like, he would have gotten six if he'd gotten that. He's getting four points for every, yeah, I, I don't think so. Huh. There we go. All right, so let's see, thoughts on it. Oh my God, that's a lot to manage. Um, uh, I'm mentally exhausted right now. Like I am just straight up taxed, for sure. I would have made a trillion mistakes instead of a billion um, had y'all not been here to help. So I appreciate that very much. But it just goes to show the amount of things that you're having to manage with the AI, which is not my favorite at all. And to be honest with you, be, if y'all are anything like I am, like things you know because the overhead and over the course of three hours, you forget some of the basic stuff, it makes this vital. And I hate that there's no player aid included in the game. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful this exists on BGG, but it should have been in the, in the box. I mean, there's that, which, but it doesn't have the expansion stuff on it. But anyway, um, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It, it was challenging. It, it very much is challenging. Uh, but it's just, it's frustrating from a player standpoint to constantly be like, oh, damn it, I forgot. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I, oh, I messed that up. So if I wasn't on stream, maybe you don't back up some of the stuff that I tried to back up. I just was trying to make it right. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot to manage. There are far better um, AIs that you can play against that I've streamed in the past. So this definitely is not going to be my favorite. However, that said, it felt challenging, even though I ended up crushing, which I, I feel like I shouldn't have been able to do. Um, it, it felt really hopeless early on, but you persevere. And so the fact that, uh, 
the fact that that. Yeah, I, sorry. Um, okay. Yeah, I I liked it. I enjoyed it, and and something that chat's saying other way that way. Uh, Firelands harder to manage than the base game. Sure, there there are small differences because as far as you know, there's there there's far less adventuring, and and there's only one. Uh, one C track and all of that. Um, but you still have all of Alfred's stuff, right? You still have all of the things. You still have to parse all of these and the priority. It's just, it's a lot to manage. Uh, I think... I prefer this, or I don't think, I, I think clearly I prefer this multiplayer, but because the mental overhead of not just the decision space, but the running of the AI is what has me taxed, I think, more than anything. And that's not what I want in the game. Um, but, but yeah, that was it. Um, I, I am indebted to all of y'all that hung out and, and were giving the, uh, the corrections and, and fixes. And it's not a don't know the rules, it's a, oh, I forgot. Which I imagine the majority of y'all probably run into the same issue. Uh, not making an excuse, just trying to show what it is really like to be able to do this, right? Um, yeah, and, and that, 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 that sums up exactly what I'm getting at for uh, what Bart said. Said, uh, well done, Edward. Appreciate it. But uh, but the AI management's too much for me, at least. Always second guessing if you're running the AI right. Um, I think I think if it there was like not a flowchart, but a step one, did you pay for the placement, right? Step two, did you get all the bonuses? You know, whatever. Um, but yeah, you get it. it it's a lot. It's not going to be a lot for some folks out there, but I at least want y'all to know what you're getting into, especially if you're buying this for the solo experience, right? So now you've seen a couple of the multiplayers, now you've seen it solo, so there, yeah. I think that, uh, I think that's pretty fair. I think I'm being pretty even-handed on this. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go make some sushi after we pick up kids, so. That's a wrap for today. We will be back. Uh, we have a number of streams coming up this week. I'm, I, 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 there's some scheduling stuff I need to lock down, so I don't want to commit to exactly what it is, but there's going to be at least three streams coming up this week, so looking forward to that. Again, big thanks to everybody hanging out, watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, consider supporting the show right there. Patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Uh, it helps keep the lights on, quite literally, so really would appreciate it. I'll catch y'all later on this week. Take care, y'all.